Hey guys, welcome back to On The Workbench. So today we're going to be talking about couplers, a very specific type of coupler, on my sound boxcars. So these are those boxcars you put in your consist that make the clickety-clack and the squealing and all those sounds of a train, right? And I love these things. I put them usually in the beginning and the end of a consist to give sound throughout the consist and basically uh, I was running these the other day with uh, Nick from Nick's Crossing who was over here and we had a super long consist we were running and guess what it kept uncoupling on us uh, when it was going over different parts of the layout switches and things like that and so uh, I was kind of upset because I really love these cars and I want to use them and um, I don't want them just at the end of a consist I want them throughout the consist so it creates those clickety-clack and squealing sounds and everything throughout the train, right? Because I really love those sounds. I think it sounds really realistic. So what we're going to do today is look at this coupler and see why it's uncoupling and then give you a quick fix for it. So let's do this. All right, so here we have actually two different ones. This is one of the sound box cars uh, that Lionel released. This is actually one of the Vision Line ones. Um, and if we look at these underneath here, you can see they have two totally different types of trucks and couplers on these. So let me zoom in here. Okay, so you can see this is the type that has the little uh, push-like lever um, with the plate on the bottom. And you can see the sensor right here in the back here for the sounds that go off the axle. And then you have this one here, which is uh, this way, right? Has the button on the bottom of it that uncouples it. And then the sensor is actually underneath here, underneath the axle instead of on the side of it for the, uh, the sensor, okay? It's this one here with the buttons that's problematic. And what I discovered was that uh, this particular coupler, if I pull the button down, obviously, the coupler opens, right? And so it's this part right here, right, that's the problem, right? So what is happening is this is too loose, doesn't have enough tension on it, and so what happens is that when it bounces over tracks and things like that, this will actually move just a hair, and these are so sensitive, like you don't have to pull them down much before they open up. And that's the problem. Their pin is like really short on the inside as far as engaging the knuckle. So for these, all you really have to do is try to tighten this up. Now these are just a piece of plastic. Focus here, focus, focus. Uh, they're just a piece of plastic, right, that's held down by a screw and a spring right here. And that's the problem because um, they want to sort of bounce up and down on this particular uh, car that I have here. And so it's a really simple fix on these couplers. You don't have to replace trucks or do anything like that. All you have to do is fix the spring. So that's what we're gonna do now. So all you gotta do is take a screwdriver and there's a screw right here that has a spring on it that's basically putting the tension on that lever with the button and we're just gonna take that off and then the spring's gonna come off with it right here, okay? Now, the problem is that if you look at the shaft here, hopefully you guys can see that, but this, the height of this particular shaft here where the screw goes in right here, okay? They have the spring going right up to the tip of that shaft, right to the top, basically even with it. So with the screw on there, there's really not a lot of tension um, because it's even with the top of that uh, pin that's sticking up here, that threaded pin where the screw goes in. So very simply to keep this bar, you can see how loose it is right now, right? Because I don't have any spring tension on there. All you got to do is take your spring right here and these are these are heavy duty thick springs so you don't have to worry about it. But you're going to just basically yank it apart, stretch it out. And what you want to have happen is when you put it back on your pin, you want it like sort of like this which is hopefully you guys can see that there's so much black here it's hard to see it all blends together but that spring is way way above like double the height of the pin so now when you put your screw back on here and you screw it back down just make sure everything's lined up there
I can even hear the spring sort of like uh, cranking down, right? Now, if, if you look at it, right, there's a whole bunch of tension on this lever and it's really tight. It's, you can hear it snapping back now, where before it wasn't doing that, it was sort of loose and that's why it was flopping uh, when it went over switches and stuff like that. And that's it. So if you have this particular type of truck with this particular type of coupler that just has a spring and a screw, and that's what's giving the tension to the lever right here, then guess what? You can tighten it up just by stretching that spring. But from the factory, what, what they did is they just made the spring high enough to meet the top of the pin, and that's not enough tension for these particular ones, depending on your track and what it's bouncing over and things like that. So once I did that, what I did is I took this particular box car, I put it right after the tender, and I put like 20 uh, other cars behind it. And I put some heavy stuff. I did some die cast hoppers with coal loads and some of my heaviest uh, rolling stock. And I ran it around the layout for like 15 minutes, going over all kinds of switches and stuff like that. Guess what? It never decoupled again. So fixed and that's all you have to do for these type of couplers unfortunately i think the springs are just not quite stretched enough from the factory uh when they assemble them and that's pretty much it that's your fix if you're running into any kind of issue with these kind of trucks and couplers okay guys that's it for our quick little fix for our um coupler on our sound box cars if you have this type of coupler or truck on your uh rolling stock and you're having a problem with it decoupling that's a quick fix just Remove the screw, stretch the spring, put the spring back on, put the screw back on. You should be all set in your boxcar uh, truck and coupler. Should be like new and should never disconnect again on you. So, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like, put comments down there, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.